Hey, bless up, bless up, fam. So, I wanted to talk to you for a minute. Um, would I recommend going off grid, living off grid here in the state of Florida? Would I recommend doing that the way that we did it and looking for a long term solution with building your homestead and continuing off grid? My answer is absolutely no. I wouldn't recommend the state of Florida as the best fluid opportunity. Now, can you do it? Of course, you can do it. There's ways. You got to do your research. You got to make sure you know which county you can be in and you can do it. You got to also understand that you have to be prepared to get all of your structures in place. You have to, if you start from the bottom, off grid, building your own place or living temporarily like with what we did in an RV, more than likely, you cannot live in that RV. Now, this is what's so screwed up about the county that we lived in. We lived in our RV for about two, a little bit over two years. But as we progressed and as we cultivated and built our homestead, we knew that we wanted to eventually obtain power. We want to diversify. We want to be able to go off grid at any time. We want to be able to have the modern day conveniences so that we can entertain and so we, we can still live a fulfilling life. But then we also want to make sure that we can truly do it. So we had definitely know that we could do it because we did it for well over two years and we feel comfortable with that. We're still going to expand. We're still going to have structures that will be off grid. But my warning to you with the state of Florida. When we lived in the RV, we could only live in that RV for 18 months in the county. This is the crazy thing. If you have your area or your land, we had raw land that we purchased and it was 20 acres, right? You would think on 20 acres, not in the neighborhood, not an HOA, tucked away, on a graded dirt road that we could do whatever we want to you can but it's against the law but with that said you would think that we could easily live in the rv until we can build our homes we want to build our home from the ground up and all of that good stuff but only having a permit for 18 months we could not do that and then, so we found out, we did some information, we found out you can live in an RV if you are in a RV park. So me trying to be creative, trying to be smart, Gigi trying to be smart, we trying to be smart, we thought, why don't we convert a portion of our land to an RV park? Duh, makes sense. Then they told us you cannot have an RV park that's a mile and a half off of a graded road. So, all of the options that we had to continue our existence in the RV was next to nothing, right? So here we were at a dilemma. We had to do something. We had to do something quickly due to the, to the um, lapse in our permit. We were trying to install electricity and that's when everything came to a head. We had a cabin out there. We tried to retrofit the cabin to accommodate the electricity. They wouldn't allow us to do permits. We had to get an engineer for our cabin to shed. We had to reinforce it. Bottom line, the quotes that we obtained, the lowest quote that we obtained to convert our shed to house was $120,000. That's right, I said $120,000. And twenty thousand dollars. There's no way in the world we we're gonna put that kind of money into that shed to house or cabin to homestead. So we end up because of time constraints and because we did not want to get did not want to get deep in debt. We decided to do a manufactured home. We're quite pleased. We had manufactured homes before. We had site built homes. We had new construction homes. And that was the quickest, fastest way for us to obtain a home in a short period of time and not to be taxed and burdened with 
the reason why we got away from it all, the reason why we got away from it all is to not be overwhelmed and be burdened with day-to-day -day bills, that day-to-day -day routine. So in a nutshell, if you're thinking about off-gridding in the state of Florida, you utilize and living in an RV to establish your homestead, if you could do it within 18 months or less, depending on the county, because a lot of counties won't even allow you to do that, not for that period of time. That's why I would not recommend doing this homestead thing off grid if you're living in an RV. That's my personal opinion. Do your research, research, research. Make sure you do all your information. Uh, take in and, and, and learn about the building codes, learn about the restrictions, learn about everything because it's not what it seemed to be. We watched a lot of different people go off grid, sell it all, live in an RV, slowly build a homestead, slowly build a house structure and all that kind of stuff. And it just simply didn't work the way that we had planned to do. But there's still options. So not to say you can't live off grid in Florida, just understand it may not be as friendly or it may not be as welcoming to do so in the state of Florida. So before you pack those bags, before you sell everything, do your research before you make that move. Y'all take care, be well, and stay blessed, and don't forget to keep on growing. Grow!